pounds, and we'll get to watch a tremendous matchup at 140 pounds. It's Tim McPhee, a junior from Atwood for the Buffaloes, 20 and 5 coming into this season, second at Colby's Regional, going against Lyle Geyer, and a boy, what a match this is going to be from Leota for the Indians. He was a champ at 130 pounds last year. He's 117 and 9 over the last two years, and he's looked unbeatable. Well, this is a replay of the regional finals, which Geyer won. Of course, in the Wichita Eagle yesterday, the announcement was made that Geyer intended to pin everybody, and it looks like he's like close to doing it right now. He, Geyer, I've refereed him a few times, and uh, in his dual matches, a lot of times he'll go out and play with the man a while before he pins him just to keep himself in shape, but he is one fantastic wrestler. Oh, let's mention uh, for McPhee, he's had a tremendous year, 20 wins, as we said. He won the Northwest Kansas League at this way in an overtime decision over recheck from Hoxie. And, boy, he was a tremendous wrestler. Again, had a good season, but that went to him. And now we've got a matchup for the championship, and McPhee has his hands full. Yeah, Geyer is a total control wrestler. He's just never out of control out there, and, and he's doing an awful good job of controlling this match. And he's got uh, McPhee in a lot of trouble here. Uh, he's got that that body scissors on and got the shoulders down close to the mat and if he can just figure out a way to get them both down on the mat and get McPhee's head lifted up he's in pretty good shape here but of course we're not counting McPhee out but we know the guy is just an awfully fine wrestler and he's got a hole there that's just awful hard to work against well he, he took first as a sophomore at 125, he took fourth as a freshman at 119, and he won the championship at 130 last year. And again, as we said, he's unbeaten this year for the Loyota Indians and head coach John Flores. 16 seconds left in the first period. McPhee trying to hold on. He's trailing five to nothing right now. So now with Buffalo trying to pull an upset here. Yeah, you mentioned Coach Flores. Coach Flores has just has done an excellent job of building a program out there at Leota. You know, you get out there in that far, the far reaches of western Kansas out there, and you don't always have 13 or 15 kids to, to work with. And sometimes you walk into a situation where you're forfeiting four or five matches, every dual match you wrestle. But, but Coach Flores has just done an excellent job of building wrestlers. The ones that he has to work with, he makes good wrestlers out of well, this wrestler, again, Lyle Geyer, a senior, picked up more, three more points at the end of that period as they went out of bounds for a, a near fall. So it's eight to nothing at the end of one right now. And as we mentioned, McPhee having some troubles, but they're going to start the second period from the standing position. And McPhee trying to show some initiative and go for that single leg takedown. That uh, took a lot of courage on McPhee's part, but he's out there to wrestle, so he might as well. And he's, he's got an opportunity here for a takedown. If he can get Geyer's shoulder pried down a little bit further there, he might be able to pull it out, but of course Geyer's got pretty good control on that wizard, and uh, he's not giving it up. It's a stalemate again. Uh, boy, that, I, I've seen some people hurt from that type of situation. That old arm gets cranked down like that, and again, the official called a stop to that. Well, I remember my first introduction to it. I thought the man had thrown me six inches through the concrete floor, and I, I couldn't figure out what it was he'd done to me, and I got up and asked him, what did you do? <laughs> and it's, a, it's a tough tough situation so uh, there goes Geyer in he's got a double leg he's going to pick it up and try to go to the back there he's got him he's on his back again he's trying to pick up the near fall points or even go for the pin but Geyer is just so confident but to McPhee's credit he is to McPhee's credit he's undaunted by this state champion from uh, Leota again he picks up a few more points for near fall 12 to nothing right now it's 56 seconds left on McPhee's behalf as he goes down again on the roll yes. all right that was a good roll through on the headlock. That's uh, uh, a lot of guys like to use that headlock, and it's, it's an effective move, but you've got to be careful with that, and McPhee just did an excellent job of rolling right on through that thing and coming out on top of it. He could have he could have given up another three-point near fall, but instead he turned it into reversal. He also took the Norton Invitational Championship with a, no a one to nothing win over Troy Reitschek of Oxy. So he beat Reitschek in the semifinals here, and he's beat him twice in the championships of two invitationals during the season. But they talk about a guy who has somebody's number. I'll tell you, Troy Reitschek just could not beat Tim McPhee this year. And Troy Reitschek is a good wrestler, too, and, and not to take anything away from him. He, he wound up fourth in this tournament. So uh, we know that he's a, a quality wrestler. So McPhee's had a heck of a season, and this is going to end the second period. He picked up two points on that roll-through, as you heard Fred's 
Scott described, so it's 12 to two. He's not getting a toss, uh, shutout tossed at him, but uh, he's uh, gonna go over to the side. Uh, right now, he's a little bit bloody. Again, quite the, quite the match against a very physical wrestler in Lyle Geyer. Hey, you take a look at Geyer, he's not great big. He, he doesn't look like uh, Hulk Hogan or anything like that, but he's got a lot of power in those arms and shoulders, and, he, and he's learned how to use his hips well, and uh, uh, he's, he's kept that flexibility by not... That's one thing to become strong, and it's another to become strong and keep your flexibility, and you got to have both. Very difficult thing to do. And right now, McPhee trying to work Guyer over, but I tell you, Guyer just is like a magnet to that mat. That's his, that's his uh, best position down there, is to try to try to keep himself down on that mat. Two minutes left in this period at 140 pounds, the wrestler Lyle Geyer from Leota, a champ last year at 130, trying to win his second consecutive state championship. Leading the wrestler from Atwood, Tim McPhee. McPhee a junior, the score 12-2. Now the yeah, official warning that the man underneath. He, uh, he's, he's taken a bad starting position there. He, uh, he cautioned him for having his hand not on the back of the elbow like he's supposed to, but having it around in the front of the elbow. Oh, the warning was against McPhee on top. Okay. Right. And here comes Guy. He's, he's working, trying to get that. He's not, he's not satisfied with an escape. He wants a reversal to the back. And McPhee's able to hang on, get back behind him, and suck down low enough that he that he can't throw him over. He's doing a good job here against an excellent wrestler. Now, Geyer's been on the mat all of five minutes this tournament, winning all three matches by falls. And for McPhee, he's had some tough decisions. Uh, his biggest margin of victory was against Rychek in the semifinals, 11-2, to two, to get to this spot. Yeah, you, you'd think that that might weigh against, uh, weigh against him, but uh, it it's all, starts all over when you walk out there tonight. A minute 12 left in this third period, and Geyer looks like he's well on his way to his second consecutive state championship, and that'll be the third wrestler to do that so far tonight. I'd have to say at this point, though, it doesn't look like he's going to pin them all. So that goes to McPhee's credit, and the junior trying to get a few more points on, but he can't turn over that magnet. Yeah, and Geyer, of course, Geyer's protecting a lead. He's not, he's not going to take a chance and put himself on his back. He is still trying to get out of there, but he's not going to do anything foolish and uh, and give up points. As you said, a rematch of the regional championship where Geyer got by McPhee, and it looks like tonight it's going to be, again, Geyer victorious with 26 seconds to go. Popeye of Caney Valley takes third. Right check of Oxy takes fourth. There we go, that, trying that Grammy cradle, trying to sneak his hips out again. He's got the hips out, but he doesn't have the head of the leg out, so he's going to still be on bottom for a while. And we can count it down. Five seconds to go, and it's going to be a championship with a few more points. Let's see. They gave the reversal there. But a little bit too late. Let's see. Nope, they give the points. That's right, the reversal. It doesn't matter because he already had the match well in hand, and a good try by Tim McPhee of Atwood, but to the... Victor goes the goal. Lyle Geyer. Geyer of Leota picks up the win. He goes to 32 and 0 on the year. So the senior caps it off with a state championship to match the one he had last year on the career. He's 118-9, and he hasn't lost a match in the last two years. That's pretty good. That's tough to do. Again, uh, picking up a 14-2 win. That's right, and his third gold medal in the state, uh, state tournament, and that's, that's pretty tough to do. That's uh, just an awful, difficult accomplishment. A lot of things have to go right for you. Boy, a three-time state champion, again winning at 140, just too much a match for McPhee of Atwood. He'll finish a fine season at 20 and 6, taking the runner-up. Again, they're showing the award stand, and that at 135 pounds, and that's going to be Charlie McDonald of Stockton on top. Again, he got by Corey Schrammick. Tramick, rather, of Atwood in a decision 5-3. to three. Let's move ahead to 145 pounds, and again, 